and your hand on that same object. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab that dumbbell, place that knee far towards the end of that bench just to give yourself some room, and then that hand is going to go down towards the upper spot. Now if I had a bench, I would probably be spread a little bit farther, but since I'm short on space, I'm just going to go with what I have. Now notice that my back is parallel. I'm not doing this and I'm not doing this. You want it nice and neutral, looking about a foot, maybe two feet even in front of you right here, and you're just gonna hang that dumbbell down at your side. Now the movement looks like this. What it does not look like, and I wanna show you this because I see it too often, is this. That's basically just me using my body's momentum to pull that dumbbell up. That's not working what I want it to work, which is my back. I don't want it to just fling the weight back and forth. I could do that all day, right? What I want is to really target that muscle and get that muscle engaged so that I see some growth. I've heard even prominent personal trainers that say, form's not important, just get it done. You just wanna rep them out. That is false, guys. You gotta understand form is really, really important. And if you don't have form, you're gonna get hurt. And frankly, even if you don't get hurt, you're really just not gonna be working your body the way that you need to work it. Those muscles are not gonna be engaged the way that they should be because you're just using momentum. So, like I said, you wanna make sure this movement is slow and controlled. It wants to be dynamic on the way up, controlled on the way down. So you're pulling hard, squeezing at the top, and then coming back down. So one more time, it looks like this. Knee on the bench, hand directly in front of it, dangle that weight down, back is neutral, neck is neutral, and you're gonna pull and then release. Pull and then release. Driving it up hard and then controlling that movement on the way down. And there you have it guys. That's that bent over bench dumbbell row. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye.